So starting with the Rudlin area, this will be part one of five of the hero area mini boss dungeon guide. And basically for this uh, region, a delight element will be the boosted one, meaning that you will do triple the damage and take around the third of the damage less than with other elements. If you're not able to get a light unit, uh, wind one will be the second best because the mobs are mostly dark and water element. And starting with the bosses, first of all, we're going to talk about the Death Hunter Lich. So this unit is very similar to the uh, water lich that we actually can obtain. And what you need to know for this boss is that he basically attack breaks and defense breaks you if you have the same type of buff, meaning that if you have attack buff on your uh, allies, uh, that attack buff will be replaced with an attack break and the same thing for defense. So if you have a defense buff, uh, that will be replaced with a defense break. So while this isn't a big issue for attack buff, uh, if you do get a defense break, that will be a bit scary. So what you need to do for this dungeon is basically not bring any defense buffers. Or if you do bring a defense buffer, make sure that you can permanently have immunity up. Uh, so that when that defense buff gets removed, a defense break does not get applied to you. The boss will also have a self-attack buff on his third skill, so if you do have the ability to bring a strip of some sort, uh, make sure to do it. If not, it will definitely not be the end of the world and you should still be able to solo it quite easily. And now for the team itself, uh, this is what I used. So. First of all, uh, pretty much the only unit that is required for this boss is the Shushu. And with the Shushu, you will be able to heal up uh, pretty much all of your units back to full and uh, are able to keep that immunity for the majority of the time, uh, preventing you from getting any defense breaks. And as you can see in this team, I also do not have a single defense buffer. Uh, you can try using Shannon if you do want to, but in that case, I do recommend having Shushu on a souling slot, uh, spawning that skill 3. Uh, if you do spam that skill 3 uh, with a maxed out mana regen, you will be able to get invincibility or other immunity permanently and not receive any effects. Uh, the other two units are very flexible. Uh, I would say Bastet is a good choice if you want to deal a bit faster with the boss. However, she's definitely not required and you can go for any uh, buffer or a defense uh, buffer, for example, a DPS unit, another heal, depending on your team. And for the third unit, I use the Celia because she uh, allows for some uh, minimal healing if she kills any um, units around the boss. And uh, while spamming her uh, first souling skill, I am able to apply uh, the damage taken up effect, which allows me to kill the boss a little bit faster. Uh, do not be worried. Uh, this boss may be a bit slow to kill because uh, this region is one of the hardest ones, I would say, and all three bosses are pretty difficult. But uh, as long as you have a lot of heals and immunity, you will be just fine. So basically for this one, Shushu on the souling slot if you are struggling with healing a bit and other units, uh, other two units are very flexible, just make sure to not bring defense buff if possible. Now, the second boss in this area is the Nightmare Ruins Guardian. This one will be the easiest boss out of this region, in my opinion. Uh, it's pretty simple to deal with. Uh, the second skill will apply defense break and the third skill will apply defense break uh, to you and attack up and defense up to itself. And this means that it is preferably preferable to have a strip if you have the ability to do so. If not, at least make sure that you are running the Shushu, uh, which will allow you to permanently keep immunity and not receive any buffs. And if you do not receive any buffs, uh, the damage you take from this boss will be very minimal. And the team I used for this is even more free to play friendly. Of course, Shushu uh, building a soul link unit. As you can see, if you spam her third skill, uh, you are able to keep that immunity permanently. You will never be defense broken and you will be able to just survive uh, this boss pretty easily. For other two units, uh, Shannon is a great choice because she will defense buff and attack buff as well as defense break with her first skill. 
uh, first uh, rather charge skill. So she is sort of a perfect setup to increase her damage. The third unit you use is really up to you. I personally really liked the Wind Witch here because uh, her third skill will actually replace uh, the defense buff with a defense break and her other skill will actually apply uh, a damage taken up effect as well allowing you to uh, deal damage a little bit more efficiently and not deal with that defense buff uh, allowing you to just nuke the boss uh, much much faster so yeah as long as you have uh, Shushu's immunity permanently uh, you will have no trouble dealing with this boss at all now uh, the most annoying boss in this region are the Fickle Uka and Hisijaka these two will actually appear right next to each other so basically you will need to deal with both of them at the same time However, if you do pull one of them a bit further away, you are actually able to split them up. And in the example, you will see that uh, I had one of them split up from the other, allowing you to deal with it easier. Uh, the problem with them is not the damage that they actually deal to you, but uh, the ability to steal effects. And basically, by stealing a lot of effects, you will be losing out on the damage. And if they steal... Uh, defensive stats you will uh, have a longer time killing them so what you need to know about these two is that they steal buffs they steal one or two buffs of with their charge skill they will also attack and defense break you and the most annoying part is that they do heal for quite a bit i believe it is 25 percent of their max hp so what you need to do for this one is first of all uh, bring a heal block this is the most important part and the second most important part is to not bring any immunity. This means that Shushu goes off the list. Uh, you cannot use her because if the boss steals your immunity and with immunity you will not be able to apply that heal block, the bosses will start healing a lot and it will take a lot of time to deal with them. So basically don't bring Shushu, bring another healer that does not have immunity. Uh, Lulu is a good choice if you have any of the premium ones like Annabelle, Adele, stuff like that, those also work just fine. You can even bring invincibility because even if the boss is invincible, you will still be able to apply heal block. And as long as the heal block is on the boss, you will be able to kill it eventually. Uh, another useful thing is since they attack break and death break, uh, a cleanse will be useful. So that's also why I recommend a bit of a better healer like Lulu, Adele or Annabelle. Uh, of course, whatever you have will work. And uh, for heal block, it's super important and a few free to play options for heal block will be first of all the Wind Witch. She has a very decent setup with uh, the damage taken up as well as a heal block on her other skill. Another useful unit which I actually used in the clip will be the Light Heart Magician, Celia. Uh, you get her for free from the guild raid and after a raid or two you should be able to summon her. Of course, you can also skill them up uh, with further pieces. So the more guild raids you do, the easier it will be to use that unit because you get free skill ups, you get uh, a lot of awakening levels, a lot of book entries. And yeah, for the team that I've used. Yeah, the team that I used here, as you can see, I managed to split them up. This means that I only need to deal with one of them at a time. And Celia is my soul link slot for this boss and with her I spam the first charged ability. That ability will apply damage taken up and heal block and with a soul link slot she is able to keep up that heal block permanently. Another option is of course to use the wind witch uh, who can also apply damage taken up or uh, undercoverable. However Celia is a light unit so it is a safer option because she will deal more damage and she will take way less damage. For a second unit, uh, you can actually run pretty much whatever you want as long as you have some healing. In my case, I have used Lulu because I already have her built. She will allow you to heal a lot. She will uh, buff up defense for one of your units and she will also cleanse any debuffs that the boss may apply. And for the third option, it's very flexible. I personally use Bastet because she will attack break the boss. Uh, she will attack buff for me as well as give me a shield allowing me to deal with it even safer and uh, yeah but honestly the third option doesn't have to be Bastet 
you can deal with whatever unit you have you can bring a damage dealer if you feel like lulu is enough safety for you i bring another uh, safety unit because i'm a cleef user and as you know cleef always gets targeted first pretty much because he's usually the only unit in the front line and if my summoner dies of course i will die as well if you're playing uh, either Kina or Orbia with Kina, you should be able to have enough heals with one healer plus Kina. So you can bring another damage unit or a frontline unit. For Orbia, you may want a frontline unit that can protect itself in some way. I'm not going to give any suggestions there uh, because uh, as a Orbia user, you may have a different box and you may have different units built. But uh, just bring a support, bring a damage dealer, a uh, third slot is very flexible and you definitely will not have too much trouble dealing with this boss. As long as the heal block is applied, you will be good to go. And yeah, this about covers uh, the Rudlin region and its elite mini bosses. Now we'll jump to the next one. Remember that this is only the first uh, part out of five and you can find the rest of them either in the pinned comment, I will leave all of the links to the other regions there, or you can find them on my channel around the same upload date.